Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's dark matter with another exciting video. All right, in this exciting video, guys, as you can see, I'm going to do a my very first ever segmented piece. And uh, I have to say that segmented pieces are kind of a pain in the butt. Um, there's a lot of prep work. Uh, all the cutting of the wood and then gluing it up and sanding it and all that to make sure everything kind of fits. Even though I didn't do a very good job. Look at that. There's a gap there and a gap there. Well, wait a minute. Oh, there's, I'm not sure if that's a gap or just a shadow, but um, there's a couple pieces that have gaps in them. So, if you, this is the kind of stuff you like to watch. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and stick around. All right, guys, here we go. All right, let's check it out. Oh well, yeah, there's still some pieces that need to be, oh, that's gonna be pretty. Yeah, there's some rough spots still. That's all right. That's gonna be pretty. Let's keep going. there. Got a little chip out right there.
Very cool. I like it. It's different. All right, well, I got it all straightened out. I got the shape I wanted. And I did it off camera because there's still some chat right there I got to clean up. All right, there's the shape I want for the bottom anyway. And what I did was I had to move it and get it recentered. It didn't center up very good for me. And that piece is just a, I don't know why that stuck like it did, but that was just a new piece I put on there so that I could drive the center, drive center back in there and yeah. All right, so let me get this out of here. I'm going to put the face plate back on it, recenter everything, and um, glue it back all up again. I said face plate, but it's just a cut off piece of glue block. Put the glue block back on it. All right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, we got it all glued back up. I got to wait for it to dry. And then we can come back. I'm going to probably let it dry, then sand the heck out of it. And and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, flip it around. 
again. <laughs> yeah, I know that sounds odd. I, I uh, glued it up so I could sand it. And basically, basically that's what I did. I glued it up so I could sand it, get all the sanding done to it, and then I'll flip it around again. I'll drill the hole for the furrow rod. Um, I'm still debating on whether I want to just keep this piece here or if I just want to put a furrow on it. I think I'm going to just keep this piece here because it's kind of cool and I like it. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> we'll sand it all up. We'll get the, the we'll make the topper for it and uh, get it ready to put on there. Then we'll set a ferro rod in it. And, uh, well, we'll get it all finished first. And then we'll set a ferro rod in it. And uh, hopefully it'll be party. Party, 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 party. All right. So, anyway, uh, let this dry up and I'll come back. All right. Stick around. All right. Well, it's been all sanded and whatnot I, I did put i sanded it and then i put uh a couple coats of um sanding sealer on it and re-sanded it again took that off and uh that little hump i had down here at the bottom i was thought i was going to leave i decided to take that off and uh we're going to put a, a ferro on it so that it's strong because i got to thinking that uh you know uh See, I still got a little bit there to sand off. I missed. Um, I think that with it being a segmented piece, it would be stronger by putting a ferro on it. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it'll come apart or anything. I just think that if it's going to be a tool, and you know, all men are they, they're they're tough on tools, so. Get a ferrule on there and we won't have to worry about it, I don't think. All right, well, we got to drill the hole for the lanyard all done. And we're just going to, we're going to shape it a little bit and cut it off. And then that's going to go on top and that'll be the where the lanyard goes and that'll be the top of the ferro rod. And we can move on to the next step. All right, here we go. All right, well, I think that's good enough. We're gonna cut that off and put the fair rod handle back in the chuck and start fitting stuff up. There we go. I just lightly sanded that. We're gonna sand it better here in a minute, but there's the, the topper for it. As you can see it, kind of went through when I put my center drive on there. But uh, that's all right. We'll sand it up. And I'll take care of that, and nobody will ever know. Nobody, no, no one will ever know that that was like that, ever. <laughs> all right, so let me get this switched around and get the handle back in here. And we will glue this up. We will glue this up and uh, let it dry and do some more sanding and some some uh, fitting maybe and make sure everything fits good and and uh, seamlessly hopefully and uh, then we'll be able to put a finish on it. All right, I'll bring it back. All right, so we'll see if it fits. Not bad. 
think that's pretty good. So let's uh add a couple of twists and hmm. yeah I think it's I think it's right where it needs to be so we're gonna glue that on there and and then uh, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll make everything flush all right all right I'll bring you back All right, well, we got this all glued up now. All I'm gonna do is bring this up flush. So there you know, I don't know if, how well you can see that or not, but right there, there's a ledge that needs to be brought flush with the topper. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, looks like I got some sanding to do. Um, then I'll probably put a coat of uh, sanding sealer on it, sand it some more. And we'll cut it off, flip it around, put the ferrule at the end. All right, I'll bring you back when all the sanding stuff's done. I'll probably let you watch me put the sanding sealer on it. So then you kind of get a sneak peek of what it's going to look like when it's finished. All right. I got it all cleaned up, sanded up, cleaned up, gave it a nice bath and some denatured alcohol, gave it a good, good cleaning. Got, well, you'd be surprised how much dust is still left on there. Sawdust, fine sawdust that's left on there after you're done sanding. It surprises me how much was still left on there. It was dirty. All right, so we're going to put the sanding sealer on it, and then I'm going to let it dry and sand it up again. And I may do that two or three times. So I'm going to do that off camera, but I'm going to show you what it's going to look like, kind of, uh, when it's finished by putting some sanding sealer on it now.
Alright, here we go. This probably ain't the best way to do it, but it works. So, here we go. Zoom me in a little bit. It's not going to look bad, I don't think. Let that dry out, put another coat, a couple coats on it. And, uh... I think it's going to be pretty. It should be pretty anyway. I'm hoping that the rubbing alcohol bath or the uh, denatured alcohol bath I gave it raised the fibers a little bit so that when sanding sealer dries, it'll lock them in place and knock them back down again. So we got super smooth service. There we go. I am gonna let that dry and probably put a put a another sand in uh I'll sand it again and um maybe do this again. I'm not sure but I want that nice and smooth so that when I put the the uh finishing coats on it they're they're nice and smooth and flawless and I know it seems like a lot of extra work, but really sometimes that extra work saves you time later. So, yeah. All right, well, I'll bring you back when it's all sanded. All right, well, let's cut it off right there. We're going to flip it around, and we're going to fit it for the ferrule. All right, so let's get that done. I'm going to cut it off with a saw the rest of the way and then we'll flip it around and go from there. on there I'll take that off with some sandpaper it's really not that bad we still got to drill the hole for the ferro rod so that won't matter too much anyway let's get the ferro on it first all right not bad though it turned out all right I think it's going to be all right. All right, well, as you can see, I'm not going to have to take off much for the ferrule. So there's that. Let's get to it.
maybe just a little bit more, but I can get that with sandpaper, I think. Looks like I might not have been completely centered there. Oh well, don't worry, it'll look good when I'm done, I promise. All right, well, I got it all set up for the ferrule to go on there. And now we're gonna hit it with some sanding paste. Sand it all up, I got it, I got it uh, as true as I can get it on the lathe. And uh, we're just going to put the sanding paste on there and get that all sanded up with the sanding paste real quick. And put on the finishing paste that's Axe. I'm using the Axe Brace of Sanding Paste. It's good stuff. I like it. So let's do that. And then we can go on to put the ferrule on and uh, then get to finishing it. pretty all right let's get the finishing paste on it well let's get a clean clean paper towel and we'll uh make sure all that sanding paste is off there all the grit anyway all right It looks like we've got it all out there, so let's uh get some finishing paste on there and and uh then we'll uh I'll put the peril on it after I put the finish on it. So I'll bring you back in a second and we'll put the paste the finishing paste on. We'll be using the X polish restoring paste, that's the finishing paste I was talking about. It's good stuff, I like it. All right, here we go. All right, so that's that. Um, now I've got to put a few coats of uh, finish, and finish on it. And uh, we'll call this sucker good. And put the, oh, well, we've got to put the barrel on it too. But we'll do that at the end when, when we uh, are finished with the finish. 
That shouldn't be too hard, huh? All right. I'll bring you back. All right, guys. I brought it outside so you could see it better. The lighting very good where I'm in the house. And in the garage, you get too much light. So we're outside here. and um, See if it makes it any better or not. There it is. That's a, a Nathan 4071 six inch by half inch diameter uh, ferrocium rod. And uh, the wood, the wood I used is mahogany, cherry, and curly maple. And that curly maple is hard wood, man. That's the white, the white wood that you see in there. The lighter wood, it's not exactly a white color. Very pretty. I got a camouflage piece of paracord for uh, the lanyard. It's got an aluminum, aluminum ferro on it. Got my my uh, maker's mark on it. It's engraved right into the aluminum. I don't know how well you can see it, but. Right there. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it looks great. And uh, I made this for my very good friend, Wallace. He just had a birthday. Happy birthday, Wallace. It's a belated birthday gift, buddy. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had a good time. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But uh, I appreciate you watching. See you in the next one. I'm your buddy. I'm your friend. I'm Dark Matter. And I'm out. You don't know the power of the dark side. The power of the dark side.